Olivia Newton-John, singer and actress, dead at 73. CNN. Olivia Newton-John, the Australian singer whose breathy voice and the worsen beauty made her one of the biggest pop stars of the 70s and charmed generations of viewers in the blockbuster movie Grease died on Monday, according to a statement from her husband. She was 73. Then Olivia Newton-John passed away peacefully at her ranch in Southern Carolina his, this morning, surrounded by family and friends. We ask that everyone please, please respect the family's privacy during this very difficult time, her husband, John Eastering wrote in a statement on the singer's verified Instagram account. Olivia has been a symbol of Trump's and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer. The singer revealed in September 2018 that she was treating cancer at the base of her spine. It was her third cancer diagnosis following botch with breast cancer in the early 90s and in 2017. Her rise to fame. Thanks to, thanks to a string of country and soft rock hit, Newton John was already a popular singer by the late 1970s, but her co-starring role opposite John Travolta in 1978, Greece, arguably, the most popular movie musical of the old time, lifted her to a new level of stardom. Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta in 1978 in Greece. Although she had little acting experience and turned 29 to drink filming, Newton-John gave an indelible performance at Sandy, a sweet natural Australian transfer student who romances Travolta's Alpha Greaser, Danny, at the South Carolina High School in the 1950s. Their on screen chemistry as mismatched love birds who undergo the final act to make overs to win each other's heart. She ditches her freely, freely, freely dresses of heels or heels, leather, and spandex, and the cigarette anchored the movie and thus inspired the repeat viewing by legions of fans. <coughs> I don't think anyone could have imagined a movie would go on almost 40 years and it would still be a popular and the people would still be talking to me about it all the time and loving it, New Newton John told the CNN in 2017. It's just one of those movies. I'm very lucky to have been a part of it. It's given to so many people pleasure. Newton Jones sang uh, on three of the movie's biggest hit, the dead duet, We're the One That I Want, and the Summer Night with Travolta and her Suni solo ballad, hopelessly devoted to you. Born in Cambridge, England in 1948, Newton John moved with her family to Melbourne, Australia when she was five after winning a talent contest on a TV show, Sing Sing Sing. As a teen, sh as a teen she, for she formed an all-girl group and began appearing on weekly pop music programs in Australia. Newton John recorded her first singer in England in 1966 and scored a few international hits, but she may remain largely unknown to US audiences until 1973 when Let Me Be There became a pop top 10 hit on both the other contemporary and the country chart. A series of number one easy listening hit to follow, including I Honestly Love You, Have You Never Been Mellow, and Please Mr. Please. Then came Greece, which was 1978's top growing 
engrossing movie and become an arduary cultural phenomenon. The movie gave Newton John an opportunity to change her squeaky clean image. The cover of her next album, Totally Hot, featured the singer in black leather, while its song had a edgier, more contemporary pop song. Her singing success. In 1981, she took her new sexual persona, a step further with the physical, a dance number with such suggestive lyric, lyrics as there's nothing left to talk about unless it's horizontally. Burned by several radio stations, it became her biggest hit, spending 10 weeks atop the Billboard Hot 100. Olivia Newton-John performing on the BBC TV new bi- mu- music show, Top of the Pops, in 1974. She also appeared in several big, more big-budget movies, including the musical fantasy Zanadu, with the holiday, holiday legend Gene Kelly in his final s- screen role. The film bombed but its soundtrack sold well and spawned magic on number one hit. In 1983, she teamed with Travolta again for Two of a Kind, a romantic comedy fantasy, but it failed to recapture their grease spark. Over a lengthy career, Newton John won four Grammy Awards and sold more than 100 million albums. Overcoming Tragedy I've had many lives lives in music. I've had country when when I started, then I crossed over each pop into pop. She told the CNN. I had Zanadu and Greece, many songs in between. I feel very grateful I have such a large repertoire to choose from. Overcoming tragedy. But Newton John also faced her share of troubles and tragedy. Her breast cancer diagnosis forced her to pro- postpone and cancel several tours. And in 2005, Newton John's then boyfriend, Patrick Meldemot, disappeared at sea while on a fishing trip off the coast of California. He was never found and unsolved the mi- mystery that haunted the singer for years. It's very hard to live with that, she told CNN's Rally King in 2006. It's probably the hardest thing I have ever experienced, and I, I've been through a lot of things. Although her career profile dimmed in her later years, Newton John never stopped the recording and performing. Among her night highlights or guest appearances on Glee, a long-running summer night, residency at the Flamingo Las Vegas, and the dance club hit. You never to believe. You have to believe. Recorded with the daughter, Chloe. I love to sing. It's all I have how to do. I think I should told the CNN in 2017. That's all I have ever done since I was 15. So it's my life. I feel very glad, glad, grateful, grateful that I can still do it and the people still come to see me.